quick case here. This patient had some cavitary infection here in the right lower lobe, probably some, with some necrosis. Clearly has some bibasilar atelectasis as well with small right pleural effusion. I do think there's a nice example of, if we were to window it, of a infiltrative abnormality superimposed on atelectasis. So the atelectasis, after giving contrast, those areas of lung should enhance very avidly. So any areas of hypodensity or heterogeneity, like we see in here, represent something else, whether it's pus, blood, tumor, something else. Aspiration just means it's not normal lung. And here with the cavitation, as well as the patient's symptoms, infection was highly likely. So another place that we look on every contrast enhanced CT, whether it's gated or not, is we look at the heart. And so here we see the LV is markedly dilated and we see these non-enhancing filigene effects. Their mass is really in the LV apex, a little bit toward the base as well. We see some of these guys here, which they, these don't look normal. And so it's important to remember that when you look at the LV, you're gonna have two sets of papillary muscles with their associated corda tendine, as well as some non-compacted myocardium as well adjacent to it. And so those papillary muscles are gonna be seen here kind of laterally and then more inferiorly like such. And so you have your posterior medial and your anterolateral lateral sets of papillary muscles. And so those are okay, right? So those are gonna be kind of like the mid myocardium, right? Sort of like in the central area. Um, and most of these LV thrombuses actually occur at the apex, presumably because there's less flow in those areas. So you really have to look at the apex on all these cases after you give contrast to look for incidental thrombus, especially in patients with clearly dilated hearts. And so in my experiences where the thrombuses or thrombi are most commonly seen and most, probably because they most commonly develop there, also probably because I'm looking there most carefully. But again, you see anything here that's globular or has any convexity to it, you should call that as a thrombus and the patient should be evaluated with an echo. These could also be evaluated obviously with um, delayed imaging as well, if necessary, if the imaging is not definitively diagnosing these. In this case, it's clearly LV thrombus. So I think echo may not even be necessary in this case though. It's typical for us to suggest echo to look for any other cardiac abnormalities. And I'll tell you, most of these patients who have hearts like this, uh, they, they already have known history of some sort of cardiac abnormality. And so they've probably already gotten an echo by the time we've gotten the CT.